with you. Today we're in Seattle and we're at Pike's Place, which is on the waterfront. It's really cool. This is like a huge bustling market. There's crazy stuff happening, like fish being thrown, right? Did you see him throwing the fish? Was it good? Is that like the highlight of this market? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Lots of food. There's food from all over the US. You can get a corn dog, you can get barbecue, you can get all sorts of stuff. There's some fiddling happening. This is a cool place to come to if you want to spend a day. It's Saturday today, so there's a lot of people out here. They've got the original Starbucks, and there's such a big queue out there. Is it always this busy? <laughs> so I ain't queuing, but if you want to see what the original Starbucks look like out here, this is the place to come to. It's nice to see actually. And this is where you come for a little bit of shopping, for a little bit of food. It's kind of quirky, but what do you like about this place? Everything really, like just the style of it. Yeah, it's got a cool style, right? It's kind of like an industrial vibe, a little bit flea markety. I like it. Sweet shops, there's a sweet shop. We're gonna go in this sweet shop, of course. There's a little shop here that does like little cheesecakes. We've got an Oreo chocolate covered and this cheesecake and it's super nice, it's so good. Mm. Nice and small so you can have lots. <laughs> What's really nice about this place is there's a little bit of art and craft, a little bit of food. A lot of food actually. But you get like this kind of American arty kind of vibe, it's really nice. And this is a good way to come out to Seattle for a day and check out what there is. So that's Pike Place. So we've just been to the Pink Door. It's the coolest restaurant. It's so hip and cool. It's right by Pike's place. And they do the most amazing food. Little Matt over here, he had the best. What did you eat? Um, chips. Chips, the best chips ever. They had garlic. It was super tasty. Fresh mayonnaise. It was awesome, right? Yeah. Yes. So that's the Pink Door at Pike's place. It's a great restaurant. There's a thing here called the Bubblegum Wall, and it's one of the tourist attractions. And it's more like Bubblegum Alley, actually. It's, you can smell kind of a strawberry smell. It's pretty gross, actually. This is for sure one of the strangest touristic curiosities I've ever seen, but it's very popular with everyone, so clearly it works. Oh! Space Needle! Where? Look! <laughs> if you come to Seattle, you have to come to the Space Needle. That's where we are now. We're about to go up there. Cannot wait to see the views. Where are we, Matt? Space Needle. Space Needle. Have you ever been up to the Space Needle? No. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. What are you hoping to see there? Um, <laughs> candy and candy and candy and candy. Candy? Well, I hope there's candy up there, but I don't think so. I think we're going to see the Seattle skyline. Are you looking forward to that? No. Uh, okay. Are you afraid of heights? Um, um, yeah. Yeah? Okay, well this is going to be fun then. The views from up here are absolutely amazing. You get to see the CBD on that side, water on that side. The views from up here are just spectacular. You have to come up here and do it. It's iconic and rightly so. How are you liking? Is it nice? Good. Is it fun? Yeah. Should all the kids do it? Yeah. What about the adults? <laughs> yes, the adults should do it as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out some of our other travel videos. We do lots of stuff from all over the world, including some other US cities. See you next time. Bye!